Today in the little series that I'm running here on my channel, which is 14 days of holiday makeup looks using new slash popular palettes. We have the new Viseart palette. This is the San Francisco palette. It is so itty bitty and cute. It's adorable. I loved this color story. So when I saw it, I absolutely wanted to pick it up. So we're going to put this to the test today. It is a first impressions as well. I actually haven't tried it yet. So a uh, little bit of a different format because I haven't tried this palette yet. I'm going to uh, move. So First up, you're going to see swatches of this palette, and then you'll see the look that we create using the palette. So hopefully this sounds interesting to you and you are enjoying the series so far. If you are pretty, please go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. I totally lied. Before we go ahead and get into the, shop, the swatches, sorry, of this Viseart palette, I wanted to quickly show you something. So this company called Rose Forever reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of their rose bouquets. And it's like a rose bouquet that's like preserved and lasts for a year and me loving flowers. I was like, absolutely, you can send me this. So this isn't sponsored by them. They just sent this to me, but I wanted to show you guys it because it's really cute. So this is the box that it came in and they ship worldwide. So this is like a velvet black kind of round box and they have like a heap of different styles on their site you can like pick literally any single colored rose any style of box like they have a style to suit literally probably everyone and then I picked pink roses because we know that pink is my favorite color so this is like the little box here and then these are the pink roses which are these not so cute I just love pink roses I think that pink roses are absolutely adorable and these are gonna last for a year which I'm obsessed with. So I thought this was really cool. And yeah, they didn't sponsor this or anything. Um, the box feels really luxe and everything. I wouldn't say it does, it doesn't necessarily feel like incredibly luxe in terms of like, it's not heavy feeling or anything. It's actually quite light, but it looks lovely. And I do really like it. So if you've been looking for, you know, preserved flowers, then Rose Forever. I'll link it down below for you. They've said that they've also given me a code uh, to get $25 off using code Martina25, um, which I actually don't think any of this is affiliated. If I find out it is, I'll put it in the description box. I think it's just a discount code. So yeah, Martina25 if you want a discount and you are interested you know, in preserved roses. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that because they just came in the mail like two days ago and I don't know, I thought they were really cute. So let's do the swatches of this busy art palette. Let's create a little look-see with this cute little palette. Is it not so adorable? Look how small it is. I love this. I have primed using the Viseart primer today because we're using a Viseart palette. And let's, I'm gonna take a refer 16 and go into the little bone colored shade here first and just run this through the crease. I love how cute this little palette is, it's so adorable. Did anyone pick this palette up? I, as soon as I saw this green, I wanted it so bad. I wasn't gonna pick it up. I actually wanted to pick this one up so, so bad. But then I managed to talk myself out of it. But then surprisingly, a lot of you asked to see the Viseart London palette, which is this little one right here. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, if all of a heap of you want to see that one, I will pick up the San Francisco one while I'm here, YOLO, you know? Now let's dip into this beautiful transition shade. I just think Viseart does such a good job with their color stories of being really wearable and actually um for those of you like you know when i reviewed i'm just gonna run this through the crease and pack it on into the outer corner like we always do you know um in my 90s palette review if you watched that and i was like oh these metallics just don't wow me blah 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 i mean those ones are a little bit thicker these are a lot th of a nicer formula in my personal opinion but a lot of you mentioned on that review that the reason why I don't super love those metallics is one of the reasons why you would love it, which is that they're not super blinding metallics. You want a more less glittery, chunky, foiled metallic because maybe you have more mature lids or you just your personal preference. The Viseart metallic formula is definitely the one for you guys then because these are not super, super texturizing or blinding or anything. They're just like the most perfect shadows for definitely more mature lids and also just the everyday if you want something that's like really office friendly and soft and subtle or you're just someone that doesn't like a super blinding metallic 
just an FYI, I really do strongly, passionately feel that Viseart is so underrated and overlooked. I really feel passionately about it. I really, really do. Can you tell how many coffees I've had this morning? It's a Saturday and it's like 11 o'clock. So you guys have seen like, I've had like three strong coffees already. Yep, sure have. So <laughs> watch all of the like hyperactivity come out of me in this video. I think now I'm just gonna dip into this green because I have to. It's so beautiful. Is it a green or a blue? It's like a bluey green, right? A teal. Would you call it a teal? I feel like I would call it a teal. Do these have names? No. Let's call it a teal. And I'm just going to... Because these colours are hard to formulate, I'll be interested to see how this performs. I'm going to start by packing it onto the outer corner here. These do have a little bit of kick up. Not a dramatic amount, but just something to be mindful of. If that's you know, something you like to take into consideration. So I'm just gonna stuff, oh no, it hasn't got any fallout. I thought it had, but it's just my darkness. Yeah, so because this is hard to formulate, I'm just gonna start by packing and I'll do like a light blend because I have a feeling this might be a touch harder to blend. Although it is working quite nicely there. That green actually blended out really lovely, like really lovely. I'm impressed because they are hard to formulate. Now I'm going to just take this little units brush and I'm going to dip into this like chocolatey brown shade right here. And all I'm going to do is just use this to ever so softly kind of build a bridge between this shade and this shade. And I'm just starting really, really, really soft, really light handed. And I'll just take my time just to add a little bit of a blend there. You could obviously skip this step if you wanted to. It's not a mandatory step, I don't think. It's just up to you. Let's dip into my Intensify stick from Miss Pat McGrath. And I will just take this on a flat shader brush. I've just been taking it on a brush because I don't want to get this kind of different colored shadows all over the lid. I'm just gonna pop this three quarters over the lid. I'm gonna take this orange shade first right here. This is on a Delium Tools 773. I'm just gonna press this into this outer corner. This is a beautiful shade. Absolutely stunning, this shade. I'm gonna take this BK Angie Hot and Flashy, the A505, and now I'm gonna dip into this one right here. I wanted to use as many of these shades as I could. Oh wow, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow, holy. Wow, I like that. That all over the lid will look beautiful. That is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm gonna dip into the green again with that ref of 14. So I just have my Makeup by Mario Brown eyeliner here and I just pop that on my top waterline. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to smudge it across the top lash line a bit, more so on the outer corner. Um, and I'm not going to create a wing, I'm just going to kind of smudge it out across the top lash line. So, I'm happy with how this is for right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes because I did get a little bit of fallout. And then we're going to do the speed through my base makeup and come back, finish the lower, lies and lower eyes, lower lash line and lips and see the finished look. So let's do it.
Alrighty, base is done. Shall we do this lower lash line? I'm really liking how these eyes are turned out. I think they're really pretty. Okay, uh, lower lash line. Where's my brushy brush? Here we go. So Delium Tools 777, I'm gonna do into this one first. And then just on a little pencil brush, I'm gonna dip into the green, or the teal, I guess I should say. Just stab myself in the eye with the brush, that's good. In a corner, I'm gonna go into this shadow, which means we've used every single shadow except for this dark brown. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I could put some dark brown on the corner here, but I don't wanna, I wanna leave it with the green. I'm just going to put my LH Cosmetics Greige Core Crayon on and my Ilia Mascara and then we'll come back and do lips. For lips, I'm going to take Lisa Eldridge Fawn Lip Liner and the Lisa Eldridge Fawn Lipstick. I think it will look really nice with the like orange. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Okay, let me go figure out what I'm going to do, if I'm going to do anything with my hair, or if I'm just going to leave this little headband in because I kind of like it. And uh, I'll zoom you back so you can see the finished look. So just did your feet. This is the finished look. I kind of liked the headband. I don't know. I'm feeling the vibe. So this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys like it. I really like it. I think this is beautiful. I really do. Vizzy Art's quality is just exceptional. It really does. Uh, it really does. It really is. And I really like this little palette. It's so cute and I love the color story. It's so wearable and everyday and then has this little pop of teal in it to just really add something different to the equation. So I love this and it's so mini and so cute. And yeah, I just love Vizzy Art. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of the look. I love it. I really love it. I really do. I'm so happy with how it turned out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh that is it. So if you've made it till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, pretty please give a video a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me. And other than that, I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.